So have I been looking any more convincing with the lightsaber? I mean, it's about as much use to me in a fight as a glow-in-the-dark belt buckle. But I figure if I wave it around, maybe it'll scare people off. You think you can get me one of those? I'll keep my eye out. This was the only lightsaber we had, you know, in the whole Enclave. I wasn't in the Jedi Academy proper. Never made it that far. My master ran a recruitment center on Nar Shadda. I don't think he had the guts to actually bring me out in public. Doesn't sound like much of a life. It was a step up from prison. I need you to teach me to fight dirty. You'd think I'd be good at that, you know. But when it gets beyond cowering in doorways, I'm pretty much all point and shoot. Show me how you work your magic. I usually aim below the belt. I hear that works really well on humans. You ever think about getting away from all this, Captain? The war, the huts, all of it? Ord's at peace now. It'd be a simpler life. I'd miss you. Well now, Captain. That's enough to keep me here a long, long time. I hope I've been some help to you, Captain. Because you've sure taught me a lot. I mean, I'd done my share of fighting, but you've got it down to an art. I got no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making it up. Then you think better on your feet than anyone I've met, Captain. I put my life in your hands every day. Welcome back, Captain. Senator Dodonna has already called to rave about how you just saved her life. Meaning the whole Republic's backing you when you finally take down Rogan. Not bad for somebody from the wrong side of the hyperlane. If Rogan goes down, as far as anyone's concerned, I did it single-handedly. With a spoon. Blindfold, and after four shots of Corellian whiskey, of course. You're definitely off to a good start. He's lost a lot of influence since you cut him off from the huts. Let me get the Senator on the link. She's going to want to hear what I found. What is it? And talk quickly. I got pulled out of a vote for this. Creatures Rogan sent at you seem to be cybernetically modified versions of native Vossian wildlife. Voss? As far as I know, no native animal has ever been legally exported off Voss. How does this get me closer to feeding Rogan his own eyeballs? We don't have direct access to Rogan, but maybe his suppliers on Voss do. Voss is a strange place, newly discovered, very isolationist. I'll pull some strings and get you a landing permit, but it'll take a while. We shouldn't wait. Rogan's finally vulnerable, and the Captain's gained quite a reputation recently. If anyone's going to step into Rogan's shoes, Captain, this is the time, and yours are the lovely feet. I wouldn't turn down a chance to rule the galactic underworld with an iron fist. Unfortunately, the only one who knew all of Rogan's secrets was his mentor, Ivory. And he disappeared years ago. That's not... entirely true. Rogan's predecessor was arrested by the Republic. To my knowledge, he's still incarcerated in a top-secret facility on Belsavis. This is highly restricted knowledge. Even within the Senate, not everyone knows of Belsavis. You must not repeat any part of this. If this Ivory's been locked up long enough, we should be able to buy his cooperation with a few rolls of spice and some shaving cream. It may take months to get the permits for Voss. Belsavis will be easier. Ivory and Rogan were like father and son. If you can find him, you'll know Rogan's hideouts, stashes, things we'd never find ourselves. This is a man who used to sell children to the Huts for gladiatorial games. The Republic will insist on tight restrictions for dealing with him. But it's worth it. If you're going to war with Rogan, Belsavis will be your first battleground. I'll get the permits in order. 
Rogan has no idea who's coming after him. Captain, I hope you took precautions not to be followed. I must remind you the very existence of our prison on Belsavis is top secret. Before you go further, you must swear to reveal nothing. It's not like anyone listens to me anyway. I'm serious. Our security is already compromised by the Empire. We can't risk word getting to the underworld. A few days ago, our prison here was breached. An Imperial airstrike apparently coordinated with a massive prison break within. The planet is in chaos. Shock troops are arriving daily to contain it. I'm just here to hunt down some old crime boss, right? Ivory is far from some crime boss. I can only authorize you to offer him certain deals. We cannot mitigate Ivory's sentence. If he cooperates, he can have three hours a day in the exercise yards. No company, no sharp objects. A bath once a week, private except for guard droids. If his information leads to Rogan the Butcher's arrest, he gets a single monitored holocall of his choosing. Uh, that's not such a great deal. It was a fight even to get that. Rogan the Butcher was Ivory's protege. If Ivory doesn't give him up, you have permission to be coercive. I've made arrangements with Marshal Cavara at the Republic base. She'll be able to help you with anything you need. Welcome to Macula Station, gateway to the Belsavis Penal Colonies. Feel free to ask me about our correctional facilities. Can it, O5? This is a prison, not a tourist attraction. Warden Plate's already cleared you for entry, Captain. Just don't let me catch you sneaking in any contraband. I'm a professional. I never get caught. Ha. Huh. Funny. Normally, I'd confiscate your equipment. But the Warden wants you planetside, ASAP. Given the situation, I figure he'll want you carrying. What does the Warden want with me? Couldn't say. Best not to keep him waiting, though. Just take the shuttle and report to the Warden immediately. And be careful, it's nasty down there. Wasting my time. We're in a crisis. There are over 10,000 prisoners running loose. Most of the wardens are dead. Senator Dodonna is seriously overstepping herself if she thinks I'm gonna drop that to help you offer some madman an extra bedtime story. Should I tell the Senator you refuse to assist a high priority mission? Oh, I'll help. To the letter of the law. Whatever your guy did to land on Belsavis is reason enough to lock him up and wipe the key code. Prisoner number 91403, cell block 923A. This code will get you in a cell. Beyond that, I'm not interested. Can you at least give me a hint where cell block 923 is? We could play hot and cold. The cells you're looking for were damaged in the strike. We're spread too thin to retake everything, so we threw that lot to the mob. Some prison gang took over, shut down all access. So you picked a cell block holding one of the most brutal gangsters in history? It's Belsavis. That's just the baseline. Look, you want to figure out which gang claims what and how hard they'll fight you for it? 
You gotta ask someone on the inside, same as us. Talk to Amikab. He's our best snitch. We've got him set up in the minimum security yard. Now I've got real work to do. They should make every Jedi kid spend time in a war zone. When you see what real Sith are like, it makes my blood run cold. And don't make any fish jokes there. I'm serious. It makes you see why the Jedi make such a big deal about not giving in to the dark side. Isn't don't give in to the dark side kind of Jedi School 101? I never thought I was the type. You know, like all Sith had to be these brooding, sadistic puppet masters. But Master Lauren was right. The road to the dark side starts with things we all feel. Jealousy. Greed. They're all the seeds of it. I'd rather spend the rest of my life meditating on a cold rock than turn into that. I need to find a way into cell block 923A. Don't you want Balahagwa Jikuska? Um passa to pisca. Mas tipo, cuida, crancha. Tipo, uma outra guisa. Chopoba, if kaftu, dan java. Talk, or I blow your brains all over this yard. O zoko masun. Bona pakisa. Tikaya strakruna, wonska. Tell me you've got their spare key, and I'll be really impressed. La poda no wonka ni wali. La pisca kuka pa mi wata. Potenya no chento bota. No ponga wa uniku pa. Nice of you to finally show up, Captain. Hope you're ready to get your hands dirty. I'm Warden Plate. This here's my second in command, Growl. Now, let's get one thing straight. This is my prison. You want to help out, bust a few heads? Fine. But you'll do things my way. Understand? This is your party, and you don't want anyone crashing it. Got it. Good. Last thing I need is some loose cannon jeopardizing our operation. This facility houses some of the galaxy's most dangerous criminals was one of the Republic's best-kept secrets until the Empire caught on. Our guards found a subspace transmitter in one of the prison wards. Crude, but functional. It must have taken decades to scrap together. Blasted thing led the Imperials right to us. They snuck in, sprang the prisoners, and blew open the armories in a single strike. What were your guards doing while all this was going on? Sleeping? My men are used to corralling inmates and breaking kneecaps. They're not trained to fight off Imperial troopers. The military's already sent a few elite detachments our way. Been about as useful as a tauntaun in a sandstorm. Last we heard, they'd lost the deep prison, encountered some unknown species in the maximum security wing, and they're getting pummeled. Let them sweat. Our priority is securing this level, and that means stamping out a gang of lunatics calling themselves the Condemned. They're all second and third generation prisoners. Born and raised right here in the prison. Just as twisted as the scum they're descended from. Sounds like they got a pretty raw deal. Save your sympathy. They're animals. Every last one. Thanks to them, our security fields are down and our access to the armories has been cut off. We're sitting naked here. If we can retake the armories and get those fields back online, we'll be in business. Then we'll... Wait, what's that? <laughs> Seal off the 
the wing. No one gets in or out without my say-so. Kelsa, how, how's the warden? Dead, sir. Clean shot to the head. I think that makes you the new warden. Huh. I... hadn't thought of that. Congrats on the promotion. Too bad about Plate, though. Plate may have been a bit of a curmudgeon, but he performed his duties admirably. Securing this station is our first priority. Another ambush like that and we're through. Our security field should keep the prisoners out. Some condemned saboteurs trash the field generator, and the whole network is down. Leave it to me, sir. A few tools, a little elbow grease, and I'll have that generator back up in no time. That generator could still be crawling with prisoners. I'd feel a lot better knowing someone was watching her back. You got guards. Have them escort her. Until those fields are up, I need all security personnel defending the station. I'm afraid that just leaves you. Just let me slip into something more blaster-resistant. The generator isn't far. Just keep those lunatics away from Kelsa. Give them one for the Warden. Got a bunch of old power packs. I should have charging. Knew I should have I'm with you. That should do it. Throw the switch and cross your fingers. Scrawl here. It looks like that did it. The security fields just went up. Oh, not a moment too soon. Even better, that boost jump-started the station's internal generators. We're rerouting power to them now. That means the prisoners won't be able to knock out the fields again, right? For the time being. You did good. And thank you for looking after Kelsa. She's only a junior corrections officer. I'd hate to see anything happen to her. On that note, 
I just received intel from Republic Command that those condemned lunatics have already responded to our shield restoration. They just hit another armory. This one's unique, though. It's stocked with all kinds of prototype weaponry, including our new Magnetar rifles. Uh, Magna what's it? I'm not surprised you haven't heard of them. If you have. The Magnetar rifles were specifically designed to disrupt energy shields. The technology is experimental, but effective. Our security fields won't last against one of those things. A single shot takes a while to load up, but it could punch right through our defenses. Why would you even carry that kind of weaponry? I kept a few on hand after some prisoners got loose and barricaded themselves in their cells. Never thought they might be used against us. I need you to get to that armory and secure those weapons. Those maniacs escape with even one rifle. It's over for us. Try not to kill anyone if you can. There's been enough death already. Bring the rifles back to the station once you've retrieved them. Crawl out. Here. These stun grenades should take the fight out of them. Jedi power! Saw that the door was opened. Your man Ivory, is he there? You reach him in time? 
Unless he's got a way to turn invisible, this place is empty. Son of a hut! I've got alerts in every ward. There's a new breakout, super max cells across the planet. Places that weren't touched by the strike. Turns out everyone was part of Ivory Syndicate. He's gathering his people, Captain. And the worst part is, they're not going for the surface. They're heading further in, to the heart of Balsavis. Don't start acting like we're partners, until you apologize for the attitude. Look, I know there's secrets down in those vaults way above my clearance. Secrets important enough for the Republic to spend billions to hide, and dangerous enough that they keep us marshals up here and send spec force to the vaults. And Ivory is the last man who should get his hands on whatever they're protecting. If you'd helped me before, I might have reached him before he managed this. You're right, but don't ask me to say it again. We need each other, Captain. Now I can't start chasing Ivory into I don't even know what kind of dangers. But I think you will, and I want to help you. Search Ivory's cell for any clues where he might have gone. Call me if you find anything. Can't things be easy? Just once. <laughs> Hang tight. I'm trying to get a fix on your location. I'm just going to zoom in. smooth that stone is. That's not new work. Ivory could have been loose in the wards for years. So, prison management maybe isn't the Republic's strong suit? Locking our worst offenders together in a place we don't even understand? Only a bunch of senators sitting safe on Coruscant could have thought that up. I do have good news. We've still got one of Ivory's collaborators in custody. Number 91406, female Ratataki. Name, uh, Shraja. She's part of a classified prisoner rehabilitation program not far from here. I suggest you find out what she knows before Ivory makes her disappear. Call me. Welcome back. Glad to see you made it, and with all the rifles no less. I appreciate you keeping the body count to a minimum. The last thing we need is to provoke the rioters even further. With the shield generator online and the Magnetar rifles back in our hands, we'll be safe for a while. Thank you. Any other weapons I should be worried about the prisoners getting their hands on? And just the usual assortment of blasters and vibroblades. Good news. We finally have a lead on the Condemned's ringleader. Found this holo recording on one of Plate's assassins. Take a look. Brothers, sisters, I am Niranos. Like you, I was born into captivity, shackled by the crimes of my ancestors. Our forefathers rot in the bowels of this prison, their debt to the Republic repaid in full. Yet, here we remain, guiltless. We must stand united against this injustice. Together we will tear down these walls and seize our freedom. It goes on from there, but you get the idea. This guy is bad news. He's cunning, ruthless, and worst of all, charismatic. Sounds like he has every reason to be upset. Don't buy into the whole hero of the people routine. He's injected just enough truth into his rants to rally his followers. 
Neranos is dangerous, but he's just a puppet. The Empire's been using him to provoke the inmates. Fortunately, they slipped up. That's right. I isolated several audio cues from the recording and got a fix on its origin. Could be their headquarters. This is the break we've been waiting for. Now that we know where they're hiding, we can finally take the fight to them. Why are Imperials fraternizing with convicts? The Empire's been egging them on in hopes of escalating the riots. May get more than they bargained for. Niranos and his Imperial cohorts are the brains behind the Condemned. We take them out, we end this riot. Get to their hideout. If Niranos is there, eliminate him. Otherwise, find out what they're up to. Any insight could go a long way. Why aren't you handling it yourself? Too overt. They'll run if they think we're onto them. Hang onto those stun grenades Kelsa gave you. Kill the Imperials if you like, but again, I'd prefer the prisoners were subdued non-lethally. Contact me when you've cleared out of the base. I'll be waiting for your report.